In this video, we will see how an NMR sample of propan-2-ol is prepared and how the spectrum is obtained using an NMR spectrometer. In the lab, a few drops of the sample, in this case a liquid, is placed in a sample vial. A deuterated solvent, in this case deuterated chloroform, with the formula CdCl3, is then added. The prepared sample is then transferred to an NMR sample tube, which is sealed and labelled. The sample is then taken to the NMR spectrometer for analysis. This is the main part of the NMR spectrometer. It consists of a supercooled magnet surrounding a coil in which the sample sits. This coil is connected to a radio wave generator and detector. The magnet is cooled using liquid helium around minus 269 degrees Celsius or 4 Kelvin and liquid nitrogen minus 196 degrees Celsius. The liquid nitrogen is used to keep the liquid helium cold so that it doesn't evaporate and escape too quickly. After cleaning, the sample tube containing the sample is loaded into a spinner. A spinner houses the sample tube during the spectrum acquisition and protects it, allowing it to be rotated within the coil. The details of the sample to be run are entered onto the operating computer. The sample in the spinner is placed in the instrument above the magnet and lowered into the magnetic field on a cushion of compressed air. Once the sample has been lowered into the spectrometer, the spectral acquisition can be initiated. The computer notifies the user that the data acquisition is complete and the spectrum is printed. The user can download the data to a computer, allowing them to process the spectrum and take a closer look at the peaks. The sample is then removed from the NMR spectrometer by raising the spinner using compressed air once again so that other users can run spectra of their own.